Okay, All right, this is a 1954 British coin, yeah, and this was made perfectly, yeah, without any problems, look, 1954, perfect coin, only 100 were made and most of them were melted down, the reason being, right, this 1953, 1953 here, yeah, see that, this 1953, 1 1.3 million were made and they had a mistake uh, as the dot was missing, you know, after, you know, where it says uh, Regina, yeah, okay, and if you look at this one, this one is a 1963, yeah, okay, and that uh, 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 is the same as the 1954 yeah I can put that next to it and you will see the dot is there yeah perfect no problem see that yeah great detail yeah and now obviously afterwards there's great detail right in the 1960s of the Queen Elizabeth Penny now this one here is a 1962 Yep, 1962, and basically the same as the 1964, you know, great detail. After Regina, the dot is there, and then F, and then two dots, D, and two dots, and plus, yeah. Same thing here, okay, same thing there, yeah, okay. And then, <clears throat> you noticed here, 1954, the dot, yeah, that is the, no, that's 1953, the dot is missing. Yeah, 1.3 million of these were made, and they uh, made a mistake on 1.3 million of these coins, the dot was missing. Whereas in 1954, only 100 was made. Yeah, some people go one, you know, no, not the one was made, 100. You, you seem to miss out the two zeros, okay? You know, so that's that. Right, these are here. We've got a few more samples. Only seven managed to survive out of a hundred. Yeah, I mean, you know, and most of them were melted down because they didn't need, you know, uh, any more pennies. And basically, I think they probably made them in 1961. You know, you know, some more pennies, you know, like quite a lot. Yeah, I mean, the pennies they had to make. Yeah. And that's the 1933 British Penny. Yep. And then I've got these here. Now that one is a 1964 British Penny. Yeah. And that one is a 1953. If you observe like the dot after, you know, Regina, there should have been a dot. But the dot is missing, you see. Whereas here, you know, it is there and crystal clear and better. You know, coin was made in 1954, yeah, okay, that one's in 1933, a threaded one, I believe, yeah, it is a threaded one, you know, on the, you know, the circle, the circle, just in case people don't understand, the circle edge is threaded, yeah, this one weighs, you know, a bit more, 10 point, I mean, you know, demonstration, basically, yeah, <coughs> Excuse me. These are the ones that are 1933 British pennies. Just say, you know, normal copper. I believe only 26. All different, you know, like uh, weight and what have you, almost. Yeah, for demonstra demonstration purposes. These were made 1933. Yep. And that's the uh, king that abdicated, you know. I believe they called him, you know, Edward, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. You know, this one, right, abdicated with the, you know, <clears throat> with a young lady. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so, now you know, 1.3 million pennies were made in 1953, and they had a mistake on. Yep. 
Then it were, they were corrected in 1954, but unfortunately only 100 coins were made and most of them were ordered to melt down. Yep, a possible, you know, one a British Museum has one and uh, Mint, British Mu Mint has one. I mean, you know, yeah, okay. But there are seven remaining here, obviously, in my hand. And that's how you can spot the mistake, you see. Whereas the O'Brien and these, you know, like uh, uh, William Peck or Wilson Peck, whatever. I mean, you know, I mean, they're not totally accurate. They allege, you know, the allege, you know, basically means they're not sure exactly. Yeah, it's good to be precise. Okay, let's start again. <clears throat> this one is a 1954 British penny, okay? This one here is a 1954, just in case you're wondering. Here we are, 1954, you can see it. This other one is a 1953. 1 1.3 million were made with a mistake on there, okay? And... 1954, they didn't need any more pennies, but a hundred was made, and this one is a, hold it, there we go, 1963, identical to the 1954, with great detail, okay, and the dot after Regina, you know, if you look at the A, then F, and then D, there's a dot there, what you will find right on the 1953, you know, uh, they didn't place a dot, they made a mistake, yeah, okay, in 1954, uh, not one was made, but 100 were made, yeah, okay, and most of them were ordered to melt down, you know, so when these people go, one was made, they, they forget the, you know, two zeros, which is really sad, okay. And there it is, another one here, um, show you, 1963 penny, okay, and this one has the dot as well, you know, like after the A, you know, Regina dot F, two dot D, yeah, same thing with this one as well, this is a 1962 penny, okay, turn it back round, and there we are, look, after Regina, a, there's a dot, okay, but the 1953, they made a big mistake. 1.3 million were made 1953 coin, and it had a mistake on there. So 1954, you know, with technology and everything, they made, you know, great detail. Look at the detail on this coin of 1954, Queen Elizabeth II, okay? And, you know, after the Regina, dot, F, dot, dot, so the first one were 1954 to be accurate and after that right all the coins looked like this you see 1961 62 63 64 65 onwards yeah so that's that and pause <coughs>
Thank you.